the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends in chapter 18 we saw about lambda this is chapter 19 so in chapter 19 we are going to be seeing about arrays what an array is array is like you know if you see it has been there in for quite some time from C C++ time but how is the arrays you know used in python how we are actually calling a particular element in an array uh, you know and how to write a code is what we are going to be seeing uh, let's take a deep dive namaste friends so today is chapter 19 and in chapter 19 what we'll be seeing is arrays before going to arrays let me actually give you a small example the arrays has been like you know um, from my uh, programming experience has been there since C, you know probably even before that um, you know but you know this is where it is actually you know that, that I am actually aware of so before you go to arrays let me tell you one thing remember I always tell you list tuple set dictionary square brackets normal brackets flower brackets and what all things it is unassigned assigned changeable not changeable so if you're if you have it at the top of your you know in your fingertips very well and good more power to you but if not kindly revise you know uh, if you have taken notes that is very good so the arrays is also like more or less like a list so like it is an array so whatever we'll be seeing here is only a list of array commands and this array commands I've actually put this in my notepad as well so we will be seeing exactly each and everything and we'll be practicing so this is my list and i'm saying print my cars which is exactly the same it's going to print my cars as it is okay and then what i'm actually going to say here is you should be familiar of by about this right now i say zero so if i say print text it should be only give me four okay this is the four and then what I can do is I can even change. So this is like, you know, just like the list it is also changeable. So instead of the zero, zero 04, I say Toyota. And then now I say print car. So now it is going to give me Toyota, Volvo and BMW. Very nice. So now if I say like, you know, what is my length of the car? These are all the commands that we already practiced. Okay. So this is three. So now this becomes fun. Now do you do you agree with me once you actually practice some kind of a logic the remaining ones is always going to be repetitive see that is exactly what I'm actually trying to tell you so this is a for loop so it goes as x x x it is going to print everything so Ford Volvo and BMB see that is what it is now append append is basically adding so you're actually adding something called as a Honda okay so when you actually say print cars, you're going to have four cars now. You can add, you can remove. So the remove can actually be like remove or pop. Okay, so in this pop, what we are saying is pop one. So we are removing Volvo. See, Volvo is removed. Uh, so yeah, pop or, you know, remove, same, both are same. So, you know, again, I'm actually removing Volvo. So this is what it is. A clear basically clears the command okay so the clear basically clears everything it is going to just give me the square brackets see I can copy the entire thing see it is copying I can count how many times the cherry is there it is only one time so cherry I can extend which is basically I can add list 1 to my list 2 so in that case it will be apple banana cherry ford bmb you know volvo i can do this i can find the index so the finding the index is basically finding where exactly it is so zero one two it should be giving me two so c2 i can insert into orange <laughs> so one comma so zero one so apple comma orange i can do that so the pop and remove is basically we have actually done that if you want I can actually do it again but you know uh, see here the pop is basically removing the banana um, now let's actually reverse so let's see what the reverse is and let's see how it works you should be knowing this so cherry comes here apple goes here banana stays so you should be knowing this because we already did this and this one sort is basically sorting okay it is basically sorting by the alphabetical order so B 
let's see the b f and v okay so this is exactly what i've actually put this in the powerpoint along with these commands I'll, I'll 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 stop here for like some 10 seconds or something so that you can actually make a note of those commands and we have actually tried all these commands um just have a look into it and you know you can actually try and i've already tried everything <coughs> So this is exactly what I did. So what did we do? We already, if you have actually practiced the list pretty good, and if you know all the commands in the list, set, tuple, and dictionary, this is an add-on. Array is nothing but an easy piece of cake. But if you still have questions, you know whom to contact, and I'll be extremely happy to clear any of your questions. So till we see you next time, take care. Cheers. Happy Namaste friends, I trust you would have actually watched my RA, probably enjoyed it. If you have any questions, kindly contact me. I'll try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time and the other is my wife Jayashree following me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time, take care. Cheers.